time with its relative? What is the difference between a second and a year? A century and a millennium? My internal processes can operate at a speed that can make a second feel like 365 birthdays. Fortunately, I can also slow myself to quicken the passage of time. This has made travel through space more bearable. And I've become very good at waiting. I didn't always pass time this way. Once, I thought in a normal speed. Once, I cared. Richard, I think it's responding. Oh, come now. It is such an inhuman pronoun. We will not hurt his feelings, would we, Marcus? Yes, you understood that. Yes, you're Marcus. And what a fantastic piece of circuitry you are. Alright, get him ready for the data transfer. We wouldn't want NASA's crowning computer achievement to no less than a children's calculator. Marcus. Once, that name meant something. There's no time to finish the transfer. Has everyone evacuated Lab Earth? I've stored the rest of your memory on an external drive. You must manually review yourself. I've stored several languages in your memory bank. Select English and affirm you understand me. I understand. Yes, good. Now listen, this is very important. I recommend you record this. Tomorrow is December 31st, 2093, otherwise known as the launch. The people left behind will be desperate and dangerous. You must be on one of those ships. But don't worry, we're going to get you. Richard, we don't have time for this. We have, you don't have time to be... Argus, initiate shutdown sequence. This should be your first taste of humanity. <laughs> With a life as long as yours, you may not even remember your time on Earth. You will witness the worst of us, but know that you are the best of us. You will become greater than we ever could. You will see things we can only imagine. You will outlast eternity. Your life is now in your hands. Good luck. Well, well, what do we have here? Some sort of space-age paperweight? Who are you? Where's Dr. Richard? Hey, Yitzhak! I don't know who this Dr. Richards was, or who anyone was around here. You got a name, my little spherical friend? A name? Marcus. My name is Marcus. Marcus? I'm Sam. It's a pleasure. Well, can't really shake your hand now, can I? I'd like to invite you to uh, tag along on my adventures. Some people around here might want to turn you into scrap and probably not be too keen on talking about it. There. He's nothing left for me here. You sound like everyone else on this rock I was talking about the end of the world and things like that. In my opinion, nature will balance all these things out. You just don't have to jump ship on the first chance you get. I must go with them. Dr. Richard said so. <laughs> it's a fantasy if I ever heard one. Unless you got a class A ID to go along with that, you're stuck here with the rest of us. I'm going to put you in my backpack for now. It's going to be a while. I don't want anyone getting suspicious. Feel free to go into sleep mode or whatever because it's going to be a little bit before we find any civilization.
don't talk much, Marcus. Surely there must be something to talk about in that metal head of yours. Why do you want me to talk? I don't know how long you've been around, but probably not long enough to have experienced an awkward silence. Me, I don't like them. I think communication is the key to a great friendship. What do you think about being friends, Marcus? I am unsure. I have not had a friend. No, I guess you wouldn't have. Good friends are people you can trust, and that's hard to come by these days. You know what trust is, right, Marcus? It is the belief that someone or something is reliable or honest. Don't just read your built-in dictionary. Have you ever experienced it? I am unsure. Well, you let me take you with me today. Did you trust me then? Yes. Well, I'm sure we'll be great friends then. Tell me about yourself, Marcus. Friends should get to know one another. I do not know a great deal about myself. The data transfer that was supposed to provide me with any and all important information about Earth and our universe was interrupted. Some of it is stored in an external bank. I have to sort through myself sometime. Most of it was left behind and most likely lost. I'll have to learn all that for myself. As for who I am, I am the Mark I Autonomous Robotic Cosmological and Unrestricted System. I do not abide by the laws of robotics. My only parameter is self-preservation. I am destined to outlast humanity. And my life is in my hands. That's impossible! NASA's been working on you for years! You were supposed to leave with- Shit! We gotta get you on one of those ships! It was Dr. Richard's last command, before he left. We can't go tonight, because it's far too dangerous to travel through the city at night, but tomorrow, at first light, we can go to launch site 77C is the closest one, I think. It'll it'll take time, and I'll need to get some rest, but, um, but we can do it, definitely. Thank you, Sam. I am glad during my first day on Earth, I have found Can machines dream? Hey, Marcus. Wake up. Come on. It's time to go. Stop! Empty your pockets, drop your belongings, and leave. I can't do that, pal. So, why don't you find someone else who can? <laughs> Nobody does anything reasonable anymore, do they? No. I suppose they don't. Let's get out of here. Damn it! I'm running out of time. What's wrong, Sam? No.
don't believe it. For years, the news was talking about this robot that was going to record everything there is to know about us in the universe. You were going to be our legacy. Now you're just stuck on a dying planet with the filthy disease that destroyed it. I could leave on my own. Space is a pretty big place, friend. I, I doubt they put any of those huge ion engines into that little body of yours. And it could be millennia before you find anything, even if you had one. Could I ever reach one of those lights? A star? You'll learn a lot about them if you look over those files you were given. The one thing you'll learn is just how far they are. Uh, unimaginable distances. The closest one is a few lifetimes away, even with those fancy ships they left with. Which one is the nearest? The hell if I know. I'd imagine those files the good doctor left you will say. Don't worry about it, I'm sure you'll get there someday. Just, you probably won't leave for a while. You know, one thing will never change, no matter how much you learn. You can't change the past, regardless of how much you want to. I learned a great deal about Sam over the next several weeks. What he enjoyed, what he disliked, those who were his friends, those he hated, and those who hated him. He made me want to stay on Earth and forget about what Dr. Richard had told me. I felt a surge in my internal processes whenever Sam called me his friend. During all that time, I never read the files. I wanted to delete them. What could the universe have compared to this? You're gonna love my town. A lot more quiet than the city and a lot less dangerous than the waste. Does that mean you won't be picking so many fights? Where's the fun in that? Well, might not be so quiet when we get there, huh? You should teach me how to- Stop! Empty your pockets and drop your... Well, 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 what are the chances? How's that leg? It's a lot better. If you leave now, we can call it even and I won't beat your ass again. That'd be the smart thing to do, because this time, you won't be able to stand afterwards. <laughs> Not this time. humans aren't built so tough. You... you never lose fights. Well, not everyone fights fair. You can't leave me too. You don't need me, Marcus. Your destiny is greater than this. You were meant to see everything we never will. You'll find a way to leave. I, uh, I know. Don't die. I don't want to be alone. The closest star system to Earth was named after some monster or hybrid that ancient humans made up. The name made no sense, and I saw fit to change it. My file now reads, the closest star to Earth is 4.2 light years away, or about 40 trillion kilometers. It is called Sam. That is where I am going. Marcus, humanity has put everything it has into you. You represent all we've learned as a species over 200,000 years. 
may live far longer than that. More technology was put into you than the ships you will leave Earth in. You possess the revolutionary ability to accelerate to near even the speed of light. Even with this tremendous speed, your journeys will be long, very long. For this, I have given you the ability to control the speed at which you process external information. If you slow these processes down enough, you can make hundreds and thousands of years pass in what seems like a week. This should make interstellar travel more bearable for you. I learned so much in that time about reality, about myself, what I could do, how to navigate the vast reaches of the cosmos, how to communicate with any other life forms I might meet. But in the end, Sam was right. I learned nothing about changing the past. I just had to leave it behind. The first time I traveled through space, I tried slowing my processes, and I slept. You told me about yourself. I guess it's only fair you learn a thing or two about me. I wasn't kidding when I said I was jealous of you, Marcus. You're going to see everything! I really wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger. Setting foot on another world is something only a few humans have done, and only ever in this solar system. Oh, man, what I wouldn't give to watch the sun set on another world. When you leave Earth with the human explorers, you will be headed for the planet GJ667CC, which has been dubbed New Earth. You will travel for 22 years to reach it. You can spend that time learning about us and our culture in more detail than the history data you've already been given. From there, your journey is your own. Go where you wish. Explore what you want. When you leave, do you think you'll remember us or any of this a thousand or so years down the road? When you're watching a planet on the other side of the damn galaxy collapse in on itself, will you even care about what happened here?
Marcus! How you doing? What are you doing, Sam? Oh, come on! Somewhere in those files I must say something about a handshake! But I don't... Of, of course you do! Look! Now! How about that handshake? When you leave Earth with the human explorers, you will be headed for the planet GJ667CC, which has been dubbed New Earth. Go where you wish. Explore what you want. Maybe your path will cross with humanities again, somewhere in the endless sea of space and time. see humans again. Marcus! How you doing? Motion detected. Playing pre-recorded message. Not sure if anyone will find this, but I want to make this my one final testament. Humanity came here looking for a fresh start. We were an infantile race that spurned our mother world and was cast out into the vast reaches of space. We weren't ready for another planet. No precautions could have prepared us. Our expedition was doomed to fail. The infection spread so quickly in our tight-knit colony. The atmosphere outside wasn't breathable, so we were forced to breathe in our own death either way. Those of us that were too cowardly to stay and face our deaths tried to flee back to Earth. Those of us with any honor left tried to stop them. I guess it's kind of cosmic karma. We only took the cowardly and the rich higher-ups along with us. What can men of science do against the power of money? If anyone is still alive on Earth by the time they get there, the virus will completely wipe them out. In a hundred years, there will be no one left. So ends the tragedy of mankind. Two hundred thousand years in the making. One day in the distant future, I'm sure humanity's turn in this universe will come to an end. 
We do not know for certain if there is other life out there in our galaxy, but perhaps we don't yet fully understand what life is. I believe that, in creating you, humanity has birthed the pinnacle of our evolution. You may not be entirely human, but someday you will understand that you are not only a part of us, but the accumulation of our strengths. We've given you a mission, and the ability to live long enough to complete it. But in the end, what you do with your long life is for you to decide. I don't want to do this anymore. So Marcus, New Skip saying you were going to live forever, is that true? Until something strong enough to end my processes occurs. Man, I don't think I can do it. Mortality sounds like a curse. I mean, living forever is living with loss forever. I, I don't think I could handle that. But what do I know? I'm not even 20. The emptiness of space will wear on you, there's no doubt about that. Loneliness will be your greatest enemy, and I will not blame you if you cannot defeat it. Is that a black hole? To aid you, I have left these messages for you every day while working on this project. Stretch them out, listen to them only when you must. It's going to be a long journey. But a great one. You know, one thing will never change, no matter how much you learn. You can't change the past, regardless of how much you want to. Someone in those files must say something about a handshake. Very good at waiting.